Hello viewers, it's our time again together this week and my name is Pharmacist Nkechi. Today I want to discuss an age-old weight management tip, calorie counting. How effective is this method? This has been used for decades by doctors, weight loss programs and people who want to lose weight. Remember, from my video of last week, it came out very clear that for you to lose weight or burn body fat, you need to burn more calories than you eat. Calorie counting assumes erroneously that calorie in by means of food you eat equals calories out by means of energy expended, thereby weight loss automatically results. However, we have found out that this is not always so true for some reasons. First, we found out that the calorie contained in certain foods varies differently because we all digest differently. This also includes how well the food is processed, how it is prepared, how well it is chewed, the gut bacteria that is present, and a lot of other factors. Also, calories consider macronutrients from carbs, proteins, and fats, while ignoring thousands of other nutrients from other sources like the vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. Secondly, the saying that calorie is calorie, all so wrong. Not all calories are created equal. In terms of weight loss, it appears true. Consume fewer calories than you burn. But health-wise, we know that 100 calories from donuts is not exactly the same as 100 calories from apples. This is because of the relative amounts of refined sugar, carbs, and fiber in the donut. So a donut might likely make you to overeat later in the day, preventing you from achieving the calorie deficit that is so needed to achieve your weight loss target. This is because Eating 100 calories from donuts will not effectively reduce your hunger pangs as much as eating 100 calories from apples. And health-wise, it would be a laugh to compare 100 calories from broccoli to 100 calories from french fries. Third reason, calorie counting is subject to a lot of human errors whereby some might tend to underestimate their calorie intake while some other people might tend to overestimate how much they move and their physical activities. Not to mention the fact that food and activity journals are not always so accurate. So the result of these misconceptions over time is that some people who have successfully counted calories and maintained it, even while remaining healthy, have actually failed in their weight loss plans, leading to the fact that some people have even added weight and we've had some people adding body fat and some incidences of obesity. I sincerely hope you're enjoying this discussion so far. And if you are, I will encourage you to stay tuned till the very last minute, okay? So from the foregoing, can we say that calorie counting is a myth? Something that doesn't hold water or is obsolete? While I might refuse to say a categorical yes to this question, if you are a fan of calorie counting, there are some facts I'd like you to take note of for you to be more effective. First, it's important for you to make a distinction between the quantity and the quality of foods you eat. Even foods that have the same level or quantities of calories might have different nutritional quality. For instance, the nutrient-dense Fresh fruits and vegetables are most times linked with lower risk of mortality. Second, in addition to your health, different foods tend to affect your metabolism, hormonal levels, hunger, and appetite differently. Earlier on, I compared eating 100 calories from donuts and 100 calories from apples. You remember that? Third, Always remember that what you eat is more important than how much you eat. If you eat low-carb diets more, you likely lose weight faster than somebody that eats high-carb diets more. In conclusion, here are some great sides of calorie counting. First, keep
Keeping track of your calories helps you to understand the pattern of calories that you need to mind in order for you to lose weight. Second, though there could be a lack of precision, but keeping track of what you eat can help you to have a baseline to work with when you are trying to lose weight. Third, it can serve as your accountability partner in your effort to try to progress towards your weight loss goals. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like the video, share it widely and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. And I wish you all the best as you keep on the hard work of trying to keep a healthy weight. Join me next time, next week. Same time next week. Bye-bye.